everybody, Miss Jackson, can I just give me one last chance? You've had hundreds of one last chances. One more chance? <laughs> this discussion is over. If you still have Barman's hand at closing time tonight, this pub is going to be shut down! <gasps> Doodle -oo. Doodle -oo. <laughs> Come back! Oh, why did I leave? Why? <laughs> Oh, not this week. Not on top of everything else. Not only has my wife got remarried to a Frenchman. <laughs> she even has the gall, no pun intended, she even, has, she even has the gall to send a postcard from her bloody honeymoon. Pardon <laughs> me, Gov, but if I had wanted to endure another person's superficial problems, <laughs> then I would have stayed at home to listen to my mother prattling on about her urinary tract infection. But I came here to drink, to drink alcohol on my own in silence. So, will you please get me a twatting drink? <laughs> Come and roll out. <laughs> Damn these useless hands. Cross, we get the proper drink. I'll get it. I'll get it. What? Go. Go. Ah, very amusing. God, I can't believe only three more hours until our last exam. And God, one exam. I mean, 0.4% of our final mark. Who cares? I haven't done any work for it. No, me neither. Who cares? Not me. <laughs> Tommy, I thought these exam results were your whole life. Yeah, as if. No, but you said the other week. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing? Only I get to eat him round here. <laughs> That's better. Water's restored. <laughs> Get us another drink. I'm going to do the exam pissed. Go, Stella. You're so cool. I know. Yeah. Let's not talk work. It's so dull. Can I just point out that summer vac starts in six hours? Summer vac? But it's the first of May. I know. It is outrageous. And they expect to be back by, like, mid-November. I mean, what's that all about? Oh, bloody students. So pure. Oh, you no idea. You're wrapped up in yourselves, aren't you? I mean, what about me, eh? My wife. Look, Dad, see, what I think you've done there is you confuse me with someone who actually gives a toss. <laughs> nice one, Con. Hey, you know what? We should have a party tonight to celebrate. Oh, I can't. I've got to shift here. Well, it's okay. We can all come here. I mean, I know it's not subsidised like the student bar, not efficient. Oh, no, you don't. No bloody students. Not in my gap. <laughs> Please, Gav. I'll be ever so grateful. Huh? Okay, then. You're right, you've got the fat-headed bollock twisted round your little finger. My head is not fat! And any resemblance to bollock is purely cursory. Let's see the exam. Yeah, boring! <laughs> but I thought you didn't care about the exam. Weren't you listening? It's not quite fun. I mean, if it was 0.3%, then obviously I'd be chilled. But it's not! It's 0.4%! <laughs> Which of your Earth subjects is the examination base? Economics. Ah, oh, well, economics is a doddle. I could tell you all you need to know about economics in ten seconds flat. Prof, give us a tenner. Thank you. Look at that. Ten beautiful British pounds. Ten pounds? Wow! That's the most money I've ever seen all at once. Yeah, and it's <laughs> worth what it's worth, son. Because on it, there is a picture. Of a Majesty and Queen. <laughs> Italian money, of course, has it on a picture of an Italian bloke. And as a result, it's worth fuck all. <laughs> French money commands a surprisingly high amount, given the people depicted thereon. Australian money, of course, has a Majesty one side, which pulls up the value. But on the other side, there's a picture of some bloody sheep thief. that sends it spiralling back down. <laughs> like so many Messerschmitts. Uh, Governor, that is my money. Yep, and there you have it, Connie. The prof just learned the first law of economics. That there's one born every minute. <laughs> Oh, how I wish you had not done that. Oh, for God's sake, can you just leave me to study in peace, you spunk bubble? Such a delicate pill. Why do they all leave? You're looking a bit down today, Gov. Well, yeah, I'm having my problems, yes. Well, I've lived long enough to encounter any little problem that life throws up. All right, well, it's like this, you see. My wife just got married to this Marcel geezer. That wasn't an invitation to tell me about it. <laughs> Miserable old bastard. <laughs> Ta da Got any lunch left? Hold on, Terry. You're barred. Uh, I'm sure your wrong sunk like that wouldn't have slipped my mind. <laughs> he is barred. He dressed Gary up as Osama bin Laden. <laughs> all the authorities trying to claim the reward money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get out! 
Well, we could have all become millionaires if we'd have caught that Armani Ben Elton bastard. <laughs> Thanks to your information, the US Air Force launched a preemptive strike against this pub. It was only sheer good fortune that the missile went astray and hit the children's hospital for the poor handle nutty kiddies over the road. <laughs> I can't let you back in for at least a week. What, what, I'll buy everyone a drink, money no object. As long as it comes to under a fiver. Five pounds? Wow! That's the most money I've ever seen all at once. Yeah, all right. Just this once. Ah, oh, cheers, Gav. You're a diamond. How are things with you? Not too good, you mate. See, my wife's on her honeymoon at the moment, and I, I just... I'm... If I say, out of things with you, I don't want your life story. <laughs> I don't even know how things are with you. What I want is to sit and be served food and drink and for you to listen to the interesting things I have to say. <laughs> is that not too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not, Terry. Oi! Uh, Mr. Brooks. That's more like it. <laughs> All right, you've made your themes perfectly clear to me. You see me as nothing more than an elaborate drinks dispenser. A drinks dispenser which, thanks to these damn useless hands, doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> you, have, you have no more feeling for me than you do for that useless bloody fact hunt machine over there. You remember when the prof won two quid on that? <laughs> I was wrong! You care more about that machine than you do about me! He's got a point. I know which fact hunt I prefer. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother to carry on. I've often wondered. <laughs> Stephen, take the helm. If anyone wants me, I'll be the one with the legs and body sticking out the oven. <laughs> I can't believe you lot. How can you treat him like that? Oh, don't worry about it, Steve. Time in a month. The chilli sauce is dripping out the furry kebab. <laughs> Did none of you appreciate what that man, that fine, humble man, has done for you all? <laughs> he gets you out of the house, he keeps you off the street. Terry, he saved your life. <laughs> well, he hasn't done anything for me. He gave you a job when you were destitute. Well, you were destitute. <laughs> I'm not surprised you didn't make any money. I wouldn't have sex with you if you paid me. <laughs> yeah, Gorgonzola. <laughs> that man, slowly gassing himself to death in that kitchen, is my hero. All I've ever wanted to do with my life is work behind a bar, just like him. Or be a postman, or an archaeologist, or work for Riley's, or for Kentucky. <laughs> or go on fact hunt, or be an Australian, or a detective, or a ploughman, or a shepherd, or a celebrity TV chef, or a disciple of the new Jesus. And I, for one, am not going to stand back and let that man die without knowing how much he is loved. Who's with me? <laughs> right, just me then. Go okay. on. Go on. Before you do anything stupid. Right, please, clean this oven. It's filthy. I won't be seen dead in it. <laughs> Hey, boss. I'd do anything for you, boss. I want you to know... I didn't ask for a speech. Just clean the bloody oven. Okay. <laughs> What's the point in carrying on, eh? I've got no wife, no boy, no pub. All I ever dreamed of was seeing my son again, but now that's never going to happen, is it? Um, God, there's someone here to see you. Yeah, well, tell him to piss off. I'm busy killing myself. It's quite insistent, though, that you'd want to see him. Well, he was wrong. God, he's come a long way. He's come from overseas. From overseas? He hasn't come from France, has he? Yeah. Oh, that's my boy! My boy! Do you know how happy this makes me, Connie? Read my lips. I don't give a toss. I'm going to my exam. Steve! Come on, my son's here! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> Crosby! Oh, sleeping on the job, you can't! Oh, God. Snap out of it! Snap oh. out of it! Wake up! Come on, it's my boy! My son's here! My boy! Come on! Come on, Crosby! Ah, Crosby! That gas is coming out your wages. 
Monsieur Governor, mon ami, we meet again! Marcel! You! You cuckolding French bastard! Salut! Salut! I did no French! Applaudez, c'est que vous pissez! Salut! Salut! Create a Kevushi, a fellow! Salut! She is not salut! Et bienvenue le vin, Paul et mesdemoiselles. The men are equally welcome to enjoy the wine. <laughs> no, they're not! <laughs> I believe you have the gall! <laughs> Go! <laughs> He's French, you see. Come in here. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Cross me, I'll be back. I'll be back, son. Oh, you're not just lucky that Steve's holding me back. All right, now I'd love that onion off your floor. Now, get out! No, I have come, how you say, bearing the olive branch. No olives, this is not a wine bar. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? I thought you was on your honeymoon. I was, but on my honeymoon. My fam. My fam! My fam! My wife! My wife! What <laughs> of? Is a German. <laughs> a German? Huh, the common enemy. All hostility between us ceases, as usual. Steve? Get mon ami a red wine. <laughs> The bloody Hun bastards with their pointy helmets and their penalty shootouts. Their funny marching and their food boiled cabbage. Oh, hoi, hoi, hoi. Oh, this is... <laughs> and their beer cellars. You don't go drinking underground. It's not normal. And their mustard gas. Yeah, mustard solid. Back off, Berlin. <laughs> but you can say what you like about the stinking, filthy, treacherous German Hun. <laughs> you have to respect them. No, do not fill my French here with such words. <laughs> Yeah, you have to respect them. You don't have to capitulate quite so often, but respect them. Because <laughs> the thing about the Germans is it's all above board. They're perfectly clear about what their ambition is. It's world domination, by any means possible. <laughs> right but they're telling us about it. Not like you lot sneaking around. I mean, look at the words the French have given the English, eh? Uh, espionage, sabotage, camouflage, <laughs> fromage. <laughs> You're right to something. You know the worst of it? This German who ran off with my wife. My wife? My wife. <laughs> He's only a patron like us. <laughs> no! Thanks. The governor of Das Aktung Spitfire. <laughs> oh, sorry, we were having our honeymoon in. One of us, but one of them. <laughs> Think of it. My wife. You're our wife. Collaborating with the Germans. There was a time when we French would have shaved a woman's head for making the love with the German, but... The European court banned the practice in 1997. Cassez-vous, Bruxelles! <laughs> it's not summer, it's May the bloody first! <laughs> They're the impressionable drunk students I'm gonna marry! Not you, Connie, you hag. <laughs> God, I'm so glad it's over for another year. That exam was so hard, I definitely failed. Well, I didn't answer any of the questions because I just don't give a shit. So let's get drinking, get off our faces and get laid. Hello, darling. <laughs> If I said you had a beautiful body, would you let me slip it in you? Here, yeah, Connie, another bottle of this disgusting red plonk, please. Um, a bit busy, fathead. <laughs> student from Telmon Bell. Yeah. Nah, back off. You've already pinched one woman off you. You're not having another. Mais le même long, c'est son magnifique. <laughs> Oi, I did French last term, so I know exactly what you're saying. And although, yes, you are right, I do have magnificent breasts. Oh, whoa, whoa. That does not give you the right to talk about them in any language. But do you not find my accent how you say uh, sexy? Uh, no, I don't how you say you uh, twat. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. Il y a un summer, ton So, you are studying medicine, hmm? Well, if you'd like to come back to my house later on, I'll give you a very detailed lesson in your own anatomy. <laughs> Sounds very really good, okay? Yeah. <laughs>